Let's look at finding vertical and horizontal asymptotes of a rational function. For example, let's find all vertical and horizontal asymptotes of this function here. Okay, let's begin with the vertical asymptotes. We first factor the numerator and denominator, if possible, to see if the rational function is in simplest form. So we have f of x is equal to this 5x plus 1 divided by x squared plus x minus 2. And the denominator will factor And it factors into x plus 2 times x minus 1. So we see that it is in simplest form. There are no common factors between the numerator and denominator. Now a rational function in simplest form has its vertical asymptotes at the zeros of the denominator. because the function will either increase or decrease without bound as x approaches these zeros from either side. So looking here at our denominator, we see that it would equal 0 when either x plus 2 is 0 or x minus 1 is 0. That is, when x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to 1. Therefore, our vertical asymptotes are the lines x equal negative 2 and x equal 1. All right, what about horizontal asymptotes? Now, a rational function can have at most one horizontal asymptote. And to find it, if it exists, we look at the degrees of the numerator and denominator. We have the following three cases. That if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then there's no horizontal asymptotes. We can just abbreviate here. And the second case, if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then y equal the ratio of the leading coefficients so leading coefficient of the numerator divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator is the horizontal asymptote. And the third case is if the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, then y equal to 0 is the horizontal asymptote. And looking up here at our rational function, the degree of the numerator is 1, and the degree of the denominator is 2. Therefore, we're in this third case down here. The degree of the numerator, namely 1, is less than the degree of the denominator, namely 2. 
which means that y equals 0 is the horizontal asymptote. So let's write that up here. The line y equal to 0 is our horizontal asymptote. All right, let's look at another example. Let's find all vertical and horizontal asymptotes of this function here. Again, we'll start with the vertical asymptotes. And we'll start by factoring to see if this function is in simplest form. So we have f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 2x minus 4 divided by 3x squared minus 3. And this is equal to, we can factor a 2 out of the numerator, which leaves us with x squared minus x minus 2. And we can factor a 3 out of the denominator, which leaves us with x squared minus 1. And this is equal to 2 times, and this factors into x minus 2 times x plus 1, divided by 3 times, and this is the difference of 2 squares, so it factors into x minus 1 times x plus 1. And sure enough, they do have common factors, don't they? And as long as x does not equal negative 1, we can cancel those common factors. That is, f of x is equal to 2 times x minus 2 divided by 3 times x minus 1 as long as x does not equal negative 1 x equal to negative 1 is not in the domain of this function, and it's not a vertical asymptote. The only vertical asymptote would occur at the zeros of this simplified form here. That is, the vertical asymptote is the line x equal to 1. So now let's look at the horizontal asymptote. So we have f of x is equal to this 2 times x minus 2 divided by 3 times x minus 1 for x not equal to negative 1. Or f of x is equal to 2x minus 4 divided by 3x minus 3 for x not equal to negative 1. So the degree of the numerator and the denominator are equal, aren't they? Let's write that up here. The degree of the numerator is 1, which is equal to the degree of the denominator, which means that y equal the ratio of the leading coefficients, or in this case, 2 divided by 3, is the horizontal asymptote as we discussed in the first example. All right, and this is how we find vertical and horizontal asymptotes for rational functions. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.